quite a dramatic uh, turn of events. I was, I was 14, I was a teenager in Ireland. I didn't have any belief in Christ at the time, that I really have to be frank about that. And um, I was, we, my family and I were on vacation and I was just visiting a house and um, watching a very, very trashy horror movie from the 70s. Dreadful, dreadful um, horror movie um, about a woman who could be in two places at once. And the woman who was, you know, um, who was, you know, I was her guest, she turned to me and she said, I've only heard of one person who could bilocate, and that was Padre Pio. But she said it with such intense reverence, his name, Padre Pio, um, that I was just struck by a sort of the, the love she had for him. But also, the minute that happened, and this doesn't happen to most people, it needed to happen to me because I wouldn't have come to fate without his help. I really would not have come to fate without this very strong mystical connection. The minute that happened, the minute I heard the name Padre Pio, he was just there in front of me. Padre Pio was right there, and I was mystically in San Giovanni Rotondo. I was in his cell. Um, I could see everything um, that it was. It was a six by 10 cell, it was tiny. And I remember at the time thinking that this was just imagination, that I had conjured the image, but I, I would, I was, I'm not from a wealthy background. There's no way I would have been able to still, I, I've never been, I've never had the financial means to go to San Giovanni Rotondo, but I feel that Padre Pio took me there mystically and that that's sufficient. And it was then, it was very, very strange because a little while after that, I was in a library and suddenly, oh, sorry, sorry about this. Um, suddenly I saw this book and it was the same person who had appeared to me. It was the exact same, seeing this, I knew that Padre Pio had come to me that time uh, to invite me to faith. He wasn't terribly happy with me when I was 14. When he first appeared to me, he said, you know, he, was, he had these kind of carmine lips and he had that stare that just riveted me to the spot. You know, he had these, these eyes that could split an oyster, could, could split a stone. His, his stare was so strong. And um, he said to me, I am waiting for you. And um, I didn't understand that, what, what that would mean or, why he would be in any way interested in me. Still can't quite understand that. Um, but he wasn't terribly happy with me. You know, I was I was going to be hard work for him. And I still am hard work for him because I'm just I'm just a horrid sinner. Horrid. But um that's um that's how I came to know Padre Pio. <laughs>